I think the faith's fine. I mean, mm. I mean, as uh, as Margaret Thatcher said, the good Samaritan needed more than good intention; he needed money. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, yes, that my books. Theologian, what Margaret makes Thatcher. my books? <laughs> what makes my books different is they're motivational as well. No other money book has a motivational piece in it. Uh, you know, I'm also the only person in the world I know of who writes in papers that never has a day off. Because I'm not letting anyone get, get the hand on my spot. <laughs> so I so, pre-write. I've never missed a column in 30 years. So give us your, your highest values. What things would you like your kids to, to have as part of, of their foundation? To of their me, life? the highest value is integrity. There's no question. Honestly, in, in the Quakers, the Quakers founded uh, Lloyd's Bank and Barclays Bank and Cadbury Fry Pascal. The Quakers worked from total, from total integrity, which meant, meant, which meant your clients got a fair deal when they came back. And they had a mentor system, which meant you got a mastermind group, Think and Grow Rich, and they kept perfect records. So that's the perfect business things. And I think my books are about everyone can have more than they thought, but they've got to take that step. And every one of those clips, I'll be teaching the same principles. The principles are you improve your skills, increase your income, invest it. To me, the highest value is integrity. And number two is authenticity. I mean, I meet you and there's, we just know each other. We don't have a charade. You know, if you talk to me, you get what you see, you know? So I think authenticity, integrity. In the Bible is the parable of the talents. They also talk about you don't hide your light under a bushel. If I'm wealthy, I can help far more people than if I'm not wealthy. Uh, my goal now is moving more, more and more towards philanthropy. Um, but be an interesting story. When we were on the red carpet last October, for two days, we were both on an absolute adrenal, adrenal high. I came back at Christmas time and uh, I said to Geraldine, I get my ironing done at this ironing shop. It's a very hot ironing shop. An old Polish lady irons away and she's very old and she's always pleasant. I'll give her a Christmas present. So we got a, a nice little packet of soaps and sort of stuff and gave it to her. And the look on her face was unbelievable. And I got, the, I got the same high from that as from walking on the red carpet. I think giving money away gives you the highest high there is, or giving things away. I think giving, giving is the ultimate gift to yourself, I think. I believe that passionately. Something Geraldine taught me, as a matter of fact. Look, it's a very, very big topic, and you've got a responsible lending code, but I think, remember in the Vietnam War, the girl in flames changed things? Mm. I think in this area, which I publicised, the girl went to the ATM to check her balance, and it was 30 bucks. She wasn't told there was a $2 withdrawal fee. She withdrew 30 bucks, $30 overdraft fee. Uh, you know, now... That is shameful. There's been a lot of progress being made. I think all we can do is highlight it. Um, you know, I mean, I, I wrote an article last week. The NAB is offering seven-year personal loans at 17% to kids. It's terrible. You know, the Commonwealth Bank is now encouraging people to pay their home loans back longer. It's terrible. But I, but I think it's education. I, I don't like regulation. It's education, I think. To me, in a, in, a, in a charity, I believe in the seeds theory. If I plant the apple and I get the seed, if I plant the seed, I'll get many, many apples. I've, we, like a, we like one charity, Second, second Chance, looks after mothers who are in violence because mm-hmm. their kids get a chance. I look for charities where you can help young people. There's one that uh, Anthony Thomas up the road runs, Safe Place for Children. That's one. Mm-hmm. I think anything that can keep kids out of jail, encourage them, educate them. In other words, I, 
and all my charities are in Australia because I think we, I think I think we need them here. But my focus is on turning people's lives around so they can help other people. So I'm after the ripple effect, Good. basically. It was based, it's based on the Greg Norman golf kit. <laughs> uh, it just, the problem with it is you couldn't show it. It was in a box. You look at it, it was a fantastic kit. In the end, every time I'd make a speech, I'd sell 100 at half, half price. I, sort of got I out was of just it. wondering whether you couldn't put it on the internet, that people could do it on the internet now. Well, we're moving. If you go to my website, I've got the best calculators. I've got some amazing calculators. And mine are simple. All right? And there's more coming on, OK? Well, in my view, and probably my wife's a better person to answer that because, because she's a psychologist, but I mean, uh, or Cheryl, I think. But, but basically, I think you've got to give them jobs and they've got to earn things. They've got to know money, money has to be earned, I think. Remember, your kids will never do what you say, but they'll always do what you do. You know, monkey see, monkey do. Uh, I think savings accounts and reward stuff, there's a lot of stuff out there for kids now, but you've got to do it. If the kids see you doing it, they'll do it. Okay. Thank having you. said that, I, I have three kids and their saving habits are somewhat different. <laughs> um, coming back to that question about children saving, in 1972, you might recall, was the first bank card. Yes. And I believe that was one of the saddest things that really happened to us as far as our children are concerned, because they see us go to the shops and hand over a card. They don't understand that we need to put cash into that card. And I think that's where we need to start to explain to them. It's just not handing over a card. We're handing over a lot of hard work. I have a, a couple of great-grandchildren as well. And my little great-grandson rang his mother the other day and said, his grandmother, and said, Nana, I haven't got my Batman cape down here where he was. And she said, um, well, Ayla's asleep. I can't leave and bring it down to you. He said, can't you put it in a taxi and send it to me? <laughs> now, he is nearly five. And that floored me. And I thought I'd share that because I think we need to start to think about what our children are, are watching. And I said to my daughter, who looks after the little ones, I said, but he's never seen me use Uber. Where's this come from? So I think we've got to go right back to the basics with the children and, as Noel said, um, give them jobs to do, let them see them, get, let them see cash. But I think we've got to get over this plastic card issue. Mm. And now we've got Bitcoin and Heather, yeah. Feathercoin and goodness knows what else coming on board. It's an issue and um, I'm very, very sensitive with regards to the children and their education. And I think we, we have to get back. I used to kneel on the floor and walk around the house when my children were little so I could see what it was like to be small. <laughs> and if you've ever tried, never tried it, I suggest you do. It's interesting. It's a big world up there. But when you're That's down right. on your knees, yeah. you can't see what's on the table. And so we need to go back to basics. Noel, thank you so much you. for a lovely 30 years together. <laughs> um, thank you. There's we, more um, to come. Yeah. We, we hope. We, um, we did well. And I think it's one of the very few partnerships that um, we're a male and a female managed to make it work. Mm. And if I could say that we started off on a handshake. We did. Always. Always. And I think that is one in, in any relationship, a personal relationship, a business relationship. If you have trust in each other, you can't go wrong. But the moment there's a doubt, and we used to say to each other, if ever we're not sure of something, raise the red flag, pull back. True. Thank you very much, Noel. Thank it was you. terrific. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you.